How did you how did you get to hear it? So this was in Brunswick. This was in Brunswick. This was in Brunswick. Yeah. How did you get to hear about the escape committees? Was it groups of you that came together? I or? think there were notices put on the board if you were interested in uh, some odd expression of being a free man once again sort of thing. Uh, how would you do this, that and the other? And you met in various places, different places each time. And uh, one of our, our jobs, we slept in bunks, two tier bunks, and each bed had a series of boards across to sleep on. And gradually the boards, were, the Germans couldn't understand where they were going, but they were building a tunnel and they were being secreted into a hut and they were taken out at night and, and so on and where, where the tunnel started from and um, the boards were used to shore up the side of the tunnel and the roof of course and um, gradually everybody got string from the rest grog parcels and other things and had mattresses made of string instead of boards we said they were more comfortable the Jerry never seemed to wonder where the boards had gone but they, they were yeah, well, were there any successful escapes? No, I don't, think, I no. don't think anybody got out of our camp at all. Oh, I think they got out temporarily, yes, one man <laughs> one man got out, they had some workmen come in and, they, they, and he, he, he went out actually to hide his face, which wasn't really hidden, a lavatory sheet on his shoulder, so he got past the guard, but he was, they were all brought back after a couple of three days. They didn't make much attempt at it. But um, they, they tried, several people tried, various, um, of course Colditz is the uh, be all and end all of escaping and it, it rather overlooks the, uh, except the RAF one who everybody knows about, all got shot and killed mm -hmm. and so on.